My name is Brian Patrick Flint, and I'm an interior designer as well as a design ambassador for America's Mart. The question I get asked a lot is how to get great looking portfolio images, not just good ones. And my answer is always the art of prop styling. I'm going to go over all of the hard things that go into making portfolio images look great, not just good. Yeah, I got it. In order to prop style your images to look like professionals, it's all about riding the fine line between lived in and perfect. Vintage. First of all, vintage is the best way to make any space, especially one that's packed with brand new pieces, feel a lot more aged, collected, and lived in. What I usually do is find anything that fits the personality of whoever's space you're designing. For example, if I'm doing a bachelor pad, I love to go with cameras, albums, anything that has to do with old technology, or even sculptural things that are just letters and have like an aged metallic quality to them. This way it looks like there's things in the house that have been passed down over the years, and the home has been lived in for decades. America's Mart's an excellent place to find one-of-a-kind and vintage items perfect for prop styling. Then there's fill-ins, and when I say fill-ins, I'm talking about any object used to fill a space in a bookshelf, on a coffee table, on the floor, on another piece of furniture, even on upholstery. And the reason for fill-ins is depending on how wide or close up your shot's gonna be, you're gonna need objects with a proper shape, scale, proportion, or texture to make it interesting. For example, something beautiful like this, like metallic coral, excellent on a bookshelf, especially when you're far away. Items look completely different through a lens than they do the naked eye. So while you might be emotionally attached to a lot of the accessories that are in a room in real life, the minute you try to shoot them, they're just gonna look like clutter. So you've gotta have tons of options. Also, you want a range of heights because depending on how far away the camera is from whatever you're shooting, you have to have something tall enough to read. If it's too small, it becomes visual clutter and that doesn't really make for a good photograph. You wanna consider which way you're shooting, vertically or horizontally because some items may actually require the height in order to fill that shot more beautifully, while the ones that are wider might need something more squatty and low to the ground. It's all about the proper range of fill-ins. The more options you have, the more likely you are to nail making your photograph awesome. Food and floral. Here's where the room really comes to life. When you've got flowers, plants, and food on tabletop surfaces, it really adds that element of life that says, whoa, somebody actually lives here. But there's also a fine line between setting a table and making a table look super, super prop. I like a mix of greenery and floral to add life to a space, as long as they're the right size for the width of the photograph and they have the proper vessel going. The other thing to keep in mind is food. Things like cheese and bread and grapes are excellent because you would use them kind of at any time of the day. So I like to keep a mix of really colorful looking flowers, leafy greens, foods that make sense, and vessels to put it all in. We've got it. Good job.